Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to talk about Stripe and how you can set up your Stripe account from India to accept international payments. So let's dive into uh, the video and let's look into Stripe. So you're going to open stripe.com and you will register your account. So after filling all the details, so once you have your details uh, ready here, you, you will create, you will click on the create account and uh, I think they should create your account. So let's see. So guys, we already have a Stripe account. I'm just creating this account from scratch to show you that how you can create your Stripe account. You don't even need, you don't have to have a current account. You just need uh, basic certifications or registration for your company uh, where like, you know, you can show Stripe that you are legally registered entity. And uh, once like, you know, you have a certification like that, you should be able to uh, register your company and start with the Stripe. All right. So let's get started with Stripe and see what are the details that we need to fill out. Okay. Because uh, I have seen a lot of stu uh, my students asking this question like how do I get through this step or like how do I get through uh, any other like in you know, any step that they're stuck in so we are going to cover every single step and we are going to see what we exactly are going to need so uh, this is the dashboard this is how it looks like I will show you exactly our dashboard uh, the account that we are using so we had two different type of stripe accounts the one one that we were using initially it was just like in using an MSME certificate and also using a saving accounts if you're not making more than ten thousand dollars per month you don't have to worry about the current account you can just add your saving accounts and you like you know stripe would be up and running so uh, let's look into our email first and uh, So let's verify our email and then I think we'll get started. Okay. All right, so uh, you, you can see now our email is verified. So what are we going to do? We are going to activate the payment on our account. So let's activate the payment and let's like, you know, fill out all the informations. So let's start with some basic information here. So business location and type of business. Okay, so we are going to look into what type of business do we have. If you have LLP, you are just going to select that. If you have sole proprietorship, that means you have an msme registered or like you know you have a company registered on your own name so that's what you are going to uh, choose this one right so let's say if you have an msme certificate which i think you should be getting msme certificate if you're running your own agency marketing agency or a small business so if you choose sole proprietorship you will have to click continue and i think this will open uh, so okay so now your business name your goods and service taxes uh, you also need to get a GST number. I think it's very easy. You can apply for a GST number using your MSME certificate and uh, But also like you know, it's optional but GST number is going to be very 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 important because like you know You will be getting uh, a lot of GST returns, right? Let's say you are going to uh, you will accept payments and they will charge like, you know, uh, they will charge a GST Okay, so if you have your GST number, you will get the GST return back, which is very important because like, you know, in the initial, we missed out on a lot of our GST, uh, GST, because like, you know, we were not taking advantage of the GST returns, right? So we were paying GST, but we were not. So let's say if you're paying GST and you have your GST number here, right? So it will be like, you know, it will be waived off. You don't have to pay any GST because like, you know, let's say you are accepting 10 lakh uh, per month, uh, 10 lakh, or let's say, you're, you're accepting less than ten thousand dollars which is going to be about five six seven lakhs and you are paying certain amount of gst over it right so and so it will like you know it will be waived off uh i think like you know it will be better uh, if you just experience it on your own but let's say if you're paying gst uh let's say if you're paying ten thousand gst every single month and and stripe is charging you Ten thousand dollar, or like you are also paying ten thousand, fifteen thousand GST on Stripe. So that amount will be waived off, and you don't have to pay the ten thousand which you are paying to the government, right? So I think like you know, it's it's a little bit complex to understand, but 
you will understand once you have all the elements together so now you'll have to fill that out you'll have to fill your business address uh, you'll have to fill out all the details correct you'll have to fill your business in uh, phone number and you'll have to select your industry so you can do a marketing uh, or advertising direct marketing other marketing services you can just select this one and now we are coming to the next step which is going to be how do we wish to collect the payments so we have three options here website we have apps and we have offline so if you are going to select website payments are accepted through my website you are going to have a website and you will have to add that website apps payment are accepted through my uh, mobile or desktop app and offline you can create a stripe payment links which is going to be uh, very important and that's like you know mostly what you, you'll be using for your marketing agency you can like you know create invoices and you can send it to your clients and they can pay that through that they can pay the invoice directly through the stripe link so make sure that you have all of them selected so that you can uh, add your website you can add custom support urls terms of services privacy url cancellation and refund policy url everything that like you know is going to be there and product description so you can add uh, we are a marketing agency uh, who works with brands and businesses to bring them more customers right and once like you know i think i don't have all these informations with me because it's already been used so if you're going to click continue you'll have to uh, <clears throat> so let's look into the bank details right so in this one you can use your current your saving accounts right if you have a current account that's good and that's fair but if you cannot get a current account uh, for any reason you can use your saving accounts because like you know you are starting out and you don't have uh, enough revenue like let's say you don't have more than ten thousand dollar per month revenue so you can still accept it through your saving accounts you'll have to pay higher amount of taxes on that though but you can get it done like you know you can get it up and running your stripe account will be uh, will be active in no time so it, it's like it's better to have your account up and running than like you know wait for a current account once you have a current account you can always change and you can add another bank account so now you'll have to secure your account stripe account uh, stripe requires uh, requires two-step authentication uh, you can just turn on the authentic authentication and review and finish all right so i mean these are all the steps that are to stripe and that's like you know what you will be needing what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you our current stripe and how it looks. So like if you want to still stick around and uh, look into that, uh, our dashboard, I will like, you know, be giving you a walkthrough of how it looks once like, you know, your, your, your stripe is registered and your stripe is up and running. Uh, okay, your stripe is ready to accept the payments. So review and finish up uh, the details. So business details, you're going to look into that. Update export information. So let's say, uh, if you have an import export certificate then like you know you can add that if not that like you know it still works fine because we don't have to uh, add that right so that's like you know all about setting up your stripe account if you struggle in any step let me know in the comments and i should be able to help you out if like you know uh, so just like you know fill out all the details informations everything that's related Okay, so this is how our Stripe dashboard looks like. Unfortunately, I cannot show you the exact uh, transactions that we have done so far, uh, but you can see the est estimate like future payouts and how much we are going to get paid tomorrow. And uh, payments, we have balances, we have customers, we have products. So in products, you can create uh, products like these like let's say uh, you can create a product and you can have that link ready for that product so let's say if uh, someone wants to buy your Facebook ad services you can have a custom product ready for that and you can just like you know send that link to that customer and they should be able to uh, get your uh, they should be able to pay your invoice we have billing reports connects and more so I mean we have pretty much like you know really tons of different things in stripe and it actually is the best payment platform out there and if you want to like you know run a really smooth uh, marketing agency operation i would say get a stripe connect it with your bank account and uh, you will have like you know a really good experience with the stripe so i yeah, hope this video helps guys and if you have any question feel free to ask in the comments you can always reach out to me over my email and i will see you in the next video